Hello world, Mr. Resistor here once again, continuing our Alpha New Bro experience. Um, <clears throat> daily reward today is a hat, a woman's hat. So guess I'll, I don't know, sell it, give it to one of my other characters. Hard to say. Uh, <clears throat> all right, so um, yet again, I am logging in late, just before uh, less than an hour before shutdown. So, but we are gonna try and get some mining in, as promised, and so. What that means is we are going to be buying our venture. So let's just double check everything here. We've got <clears throat> we've got our two drones. Uh, empty the mining hold. That's always important to do before you go out. And what's our fit looking like? got a shield extender, we've got an afterburner, got our mining laser upgrade, two minor ones. Now if I recall correctly, we picked up, there it is, an EPS Gaussian. So let's go ahead and compare <clears throat> these. Now um, I do typically use EPS Gaussian, um, when I can't use Tech 2. Uh, the other meta version is the port Particle Bore Compact Mining Laser, which I <clears throat> don't really use much. Um, Unless it's in situations like this where I got it, where, you know, it's a new character and I got it uh, as loot or something. Um, <clears throat> a lot of times I'll just scrap them because um, they're not really worth much. Uh, but, you know, you can get some, you can get some more out of them. Um, okay, so what are we expecting? Okay, so capacity. No. Activation cost, okay, there's a difference. Significant difference. Um, <clears throat> all right, so tech one. Oh, there's a Glente mining laser. Oh, storyline, okay. That's probably a special event uh, thing. Tech two or faction. Those are pricey. Um, all right, so 20, 20, 20. So all the tech ones are basically the same for activation cost. What else do we have? Mining amount. All right, EPS Gaussian is 50. Other one is 40. Other two is 60. Or is 85. And particle bore is 50. So again, the same as EPS Gaussian. Uh, residual volume multiplier. Mm. Okay. Zero for all the ones we're looking at. CPU usage. Okay, particle bore is less, so a little easier to fit. Um, activation time, 60. Residue probability, uh, zero again for all the ones we're looking at. What others do we have? Optimal range. Yeah, so <clears throat> here's where the EPS Gaussian comes in. Uh, it's got a really long range. 16 kilometers is, I mean, well, only the ore matches it and um, typically uh, even 
even with the strip miners, um, you usually can't get 16 without boosts. Um, although, uh, if you're boosted by an orca, you can some you can get up over over 30 on some of those. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, 10 for minor one, 12 for minor two, 11 for particle bore. So um, it looks like compared to our other option, which is tech one, we get better mining amount, better optimal range. A little bit more CPU usage, but we're not hurting for CPU. So, conclusion, we're going to take off one of these and put an EPS Gaussian in its place. Um, so that'll improve our mining situation a little bit. I'll go ahead and repackage that so it can stack with the other ones I've got in here. And so one more thing real quick, just to see if there's anything else we want to put on here. And I don't think there is. Um, let's see, we've got an empty mid slot. Yeah. Oh, what do we have for our... We could use our... Yeah. Our, uh, better afterburner. That would be cool. Um... Alright, anything else? Mm, no. Um... We could put the survey scanner on there. To be honest, I don't find survey scanners that useful most of the time. All right, so let's take a look at what we've got for available missions. Okay, hostages. Uh, that is going to have no combat, if I recall correctly. But we'll go ahead and get it done. <coughs> Should be pretty quick. Um... Books, acquire an afterburner, which I already have. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. All right, complete that. What's he got up next? Uh, oh, make some uh, Make some ammo. How much ammo do we need to make? 1,000. So that's going to be 10 runs. All right, so we need tritanium, uh, which we'll have when we reprocess the uh, belt spar that I just took out of my mining hold. We need pyrite and we need noxium. So, really quick. Tasbit, Hemorphite, Hydrogite, Dardogur, Crokite. Okay, so none of these ores show up in high sec. Um, we will get around to mining these eventually, but I don't want to do it uh, just yet until we're done with career missions. We've gone, we've got like what I would call a, a real fit on our ship. Then we might try going after some of these ores. Um, so that means the Noxium we're going to have to buy. Pyrite, though, comes from Scordite and Pyroxeres, which uh, we can get uh, Scordite. Uh, in high sec, there should be some in this system. So that's what we're going to go for. Um, Scordite, and then let's see, the other one. 
we need Mexilon, so pyrite again, Mexilon, uh, which comes from Plagioclase, which um, which we should also find in asteroid spells. Pyroxeres technically shows up in high security. Um, I haven't really seen it in asteroid belts lately. Uh, for high sec asteroid spells, it's typically just been belts bar, scordite, and plagioclase. Um, but you will uh, sometimes see Pyrex Ares uh, show up in mission uh, areas. <clears throat> um, so, you know, if you're, and occasionally you'll see uh, some of the low sec ores like Omber or Carnite um, show up in those areas as well. So, it's always worth checking. Um, Orb drive active. Your uh, mining overview when you're in those areas, um, just to see if there might be something worth coming back for uh, before you turn the mission in. Now there will be. Um, a mining mission in one of the industrial tracks where we will be mining Kernite. Um, which, like I said, is typically a low sec ore. So, um, <clears throat> one of the things that I will do is, uh, I will make sure to mine Active. all of the ore that's there, um, which I believe will take two trips uh, in the venture. Um, so even though the mission will already be done, I want to get all of that carnite because that ore is valuable and we will uh, need um, Forgot, not supposed to fight. Just grab the guy. Okay. <clears throat> so actually, now that I think about it, um, I believe Carnite will give us the Mexilon that we need. I might be wrong about that, but maybe it's worth doing that mission first. I am, of course, tempted to fight one of these guys just because I need the kill for skilling spree. <sighs> but I'm not going to. Alrighty, so what do we have here? We've got some Scordite. Scordite. And Scordite. Looks like this has been picked over pretty hard. Um, even though we're in 1.0 space and we won't get attacked by pirates gonna put out my um, my drones. Alright, so Scordite. Scordite. We'll go ahead and orbit something we're not mining. Because recall when the uh, 
thing you are orbiting gets destroyed, you just get flung off into space in whatever direction you happen to be going at that moment. Um, it's a little unfortunate that there's no Plagiate place here, um, so we may end up having to make another trip tomorrow, because we've only got 35 minutes until shutdown. Um, and it's already past my bedtime. So, um, so yeah, I think, I think tomorrow we'll probably make another mining trip. Um, hopefully I will end up being less busy tomorrow. I've been making some improvements to my, uh, <clears throat> to my desk and my, uh, gaming slash working setup um, and those should be done tomorrow um, they uh, involved a little bit of carpentry today which took a little bit longer than I anticipated but I will say I'm happy with the result my desk is now at a proper ergonomic height for me, um, so hopefully that's going to save me a little bit of back pain. And uh, yeah, tomorrow I'll be um, getting another Asteroid monitor and setting up a monitor stand. So hopefully my monitors will also all be at a proper height for me and save me a little bit of neck pain. <clears throat> now one thing to consider when you're mining, um, in this case we're going for a specific ore right or ores I should say <clears throat> we need specific minerals um, which are scordite contains so we're mining scordite um, scordite does sell pretty well right and the high sec ores um, they don't have they've got a relatively low price right compared to the uh, other ores that are more risky to get um, but they do sell pretty reliably because they're needed for basically everything um, tritanium is the most commonly used uh, mineral and so uh, veldspar is the best source of that and so when if you are mining to sell, um, Veldspar is an excellent choice. Um, in my experience, so you've got uh, concentrated Veldspar here, which will provide you with a little bit more. Uh, let's see if the info page will show us, right? So concentrated Veldspar would get 420 units of titanium regular veldspar we get 400 right so better yield um, and every uh, every ore has a couple of variations right you've got the plain one and then you've got um, so for example there's a massive score die you get um, azure plagioclase um, <clears throat> and those uh, sort of special variants um, will yield more of the of the minerals that you're looking for um, but uh, people are lazy when they search for stuff on the market so I find that the plain version sells better um, even if it's not quite as good uh, 
obviously your experience may differ and uh, it's very rare that I put more ore up on the market uh, and it doesn't sell on the rare occasions when that happens it's because there was like a, a price shift or something and I priced it too high and never went back and checked um, but a lot of times those you know prices will swing back and and they do end up selling often enough that I generally don't adjust uh, generally don't modify my sell orders very often <clears throat> um, another thing you can do with uh, plain Veldspar and Scordite is um, there are certain uh, certain bases, NPC star bases, where um, storyline missions uh, happen. Um, so, like, there's uh, Republic University in Nakagard, for example, comes to mind, uh, just because I end up getting a lot of them there. Um, <clears throat> and a lot of those require that you turn in a certain amount of ore so it's like uh, you know a thousand veldspar ten thousand per night whatever um so um veldspar and scordite are the most commonly requested ones in my experience um so uh if you want to put some for sale at one of those bases where those storyline missions get turned in um, that can be profitable because often you can you can set it for a higher price than you would at a market hub or, or a uh, manufacturing hub um, and the uh, storyline missions you get uh, so for every 16 missions you do for a uh, faction, you'll get a storyline mission, and uh, that storyline mission will significantly increase your standings uh, when you complete them. They may also give additional rewards. Um, cybernetic implants are pretty common. Um, occasionally you'll get some other stuff. Um, so they are often worth doing. Um, one thing to look out for, um, and I haven't quite decided yet what my strategy is going to be on this character. As a general rule, I try to maintain positive standings with all factions. Um, so I usually don't take missions um, that require going up against one of the four player factions. Um, or sort of specific subsets. So like, for example, in a Mars space, you'll get missions going up against Thuker tribe, which is, uh, which is one of the seven uh, Minmatar tribes. Um, it's not Minmatar itself, but um, it can't hurt your standings. And um, <clears throat> it's a little bit less important now. Back in the day, there were certain ships or certain skins that you could only get um, if you had certain standing with those factions. Um, I think a lot of that is not really the case anymore. Um, but still, it's general rule, you know, if you're fighting, if you're fighting Thuker, that's going to hurt your standing with Minmatar in the long run. So I'm, I'm generally not going to take those missions. I usually only take missions uh, <clears throat> that'll have me going against drones or pirate factions. Um, on this character, though, since my goal is to 
do all of the air career stuff that will mean doing some faction warfare. So I may end up disregarding that rule for this character. Again, haven't really decided yet. One other thing I want to check out while we're here. Angel Hideaway combat site. Um, so, <clears throat> um, another thing on the uh, on our checklist is entering combat sites. Um, my understanding is that you can complete that one by entering the anomaly training. Since I need a kill for skilling spree. I think I might try going into this angel hideaway. Hopefully it's not too tough. Um, I'm not looking to complete it. I really just need the one kill and I'll be happy with that. Um, so if I can get that get out then we will call that good. And we'll have to do that relatively soon. So we're about halfway. <clears throat> I do like mining generally. It is uh, one of the activities I've put a lot of time and effort into developing characters for. But it sure can be slow sometimes. asteroid is depleted. How are we 
we doing? Uh, Alright, we'll give it a couple more minutes and then we'll call that enough mining for today. So, <clears throat> one other thing to know about mining lasers is you can stop them mid-cycle. Um, and you see our numbers here, right? We're getting 2.1 m cubed per second. <clears throat> um, there are some uh, special event uh, mining missions where <clears throat> you know that the asteroids have a certain amount of M3, right? Uh, usually it's about 100. Um, and so once you've got that relatively dialed in, you can stop your mining lasers kind of um, <clears throat> mid uh, mid cycle. Um, to speed up your completion of those missions, which can make a significant difference in what kind of rewards you get. Um, so, but for now, we're going to go ahead and end those. If you were watching carefully, you saw this line move a little bit uh, just to verify what I just said about getting more when you Stop the mid cycle. We're gonna head to this drive site and hope for the best. <clears throat> the best being uh, we can kill a frigate quickly and not die. And hey. There is one frigate. Is he in our targeting range? He is. Should be out of his gun range. We're going to go ahead and attack. And we are not going to fight his friends. Warp drive oh, stop. active. Okay. Yeah. We are not going to fight his friends because Warp drive we ain't got time for that. This site, though, if I recall, yet two or three, um, it might go up to a cruiser at the end. Docking permission yeah, we requested. might even be Docking able to do that accepted. site in a venture. Um, with T2 drones and T2 tank, uh, I'd probably actually attempt it. Alright, so let's see what he's got for us next. Using a web of fire. Okay. So... Go ahead and turn that in. Let's see what we got here, another crate. And let's go ahead and open that up. Ferox. That is a Kaldari battle cruiser. Okay. A 
we are... I don't think I'm going to be able to fly, fly that. Um, without going Omega, I might be wrong about that. But let's see, what did we get here? So, five combat sites, mission. Submit 50 samples for project discovery. And, ooh, combat scanner probes, cool. Nanofiber internal structures, I used to use those a lot. I don't so much anymore. But combat cam scanner probes, that's interesting. All right, well, that's gonna be it for today. So until next time, have a good one. <laughs>